Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. Are you looking for an easy but thoughtful teacher gift? Look no further. I will show you how to create and customize Canvas Teacher pencil bags for your child's favorite teacher using Canvas makeup bags and HTV that I purchased from Amazon. I will leave all of my supplies that I used in the description box below. I also created a few other teacher gifts how-to videos in case you're interested in those. Now let's get started. Hey guys, so getting in with the school that's going to be starting back up again, I figured I would show you guys a few quick and very easy teacher appreciation or teacher gifts. Um, you can use this any time of the year, but I thought with my girls starting this year again um, in actual school, I would make the teachers some um, cute little items to carry around with them. So I did a video previously showing you how to make um, canvas bags for them. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make little hand bags or little makeup bags that they can put like their pencils in or anything that they want in. They're just little tiny bags that I bought off of Amazon. Um, but I love making things for teachers. I really appreciate them with all the hard work that they do. So I'm going to show you a few things really quick. So some of these SVGs I got off of uh, design bundles. And some of them I found right here in... Um, design space. So I'm going to show you really quick for design space. What you want to do is go to images and then you can just type in teach or teacher like I have here. Um, and you can find any of these. It depends if you have the monthly or the yearly subscription for this. Um, I have the yearly subscription, so these will be free for me. If you do not have that, I highly suggest looking into that, getting the yearly or the monthly subscription. I have not been angry with this. I've been nothing but happy with all the images and fonts that I can use throughout the year for free so this is where I found these from oh I really like this one too so I'm gonna pick this one too this one's kind of neat I just kind of go through and pick out which ones that I like and then I just click the insert button so that's where I got these other ones from or also like I said design bundles as well so here are the new ones that I just found I do really like these um, so again, it depends on what size your bag is. I'm going to show you really quick which bag I used. Um, I bought them off of Amazon. Let me just pull it up here quick. So I bought two different kind of makeup bags from Amazon. I'm going to show you really quick where I got them and what they look like. So I got these little ones here. They're like a canvas bag and then also these black ones here too. Um, I'm going to show you quick. So I ordered this one back on June 10th, 2021. So I'm going to click on the order detail and show you maybe if it'll show how much it was. This one was $11.99 for $15 and I really love these. I've used these in the past with HTV and I really love how they turn out. It works really well on them. Um, but you can choose from all these different colors if you're interested in these little ones oh that would be cute for teachers this one here I didn't see that one before um, but this would be really cute to give to teachers for you know um, anything for starting teaching you know starting for the year or the, the hundred day thing that that always goes on in schools you know anything like that so it'd just be kind of neat so I'm going to be using these fonts with those bags and I'm also going to show you one more thing sorry guys uh, I have got yelled at a few times for not showing what I use so I'm going to be getting better at that so this is also something I'm going to be using I really do love this company um, they sent me some vinyl and some HTV to try out and um, I'm always honest with you guys you know I hate the Cricut brand and I'm always trying to find cheaper places to buy HTV and regular vinyl this place has it I'm telling you guys it's it's really good prices and it works really well like I said I did a video on teacher bags and I used this HTV um, it was the holographic one and I absolutely love it it was the easiest to weed I know I know HTV is always easy to weed but this one was really easy to weed it was easy to cut I didn't have to go over it twice like I normally do when I use my Cricut so if you're interested in purchasing, I would recommend this company, HTV Rant. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, HTV R Aunt. Um, I honestly don't know, but I highly recommend this place if you're looking for something. So this is where I got the um, HTV from. So that's just the place. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in that. But like I said, last time some a couple people yelled at me for not actually showing where I got this from. I always leave links below. So. I'm going to show it from now on. 
So getting back to this, you can do a couple things with these. You can change the color if you want. Unfortunately, what I've noticed with some of these that you buy from design bundles, like these couple of ones that I found, you can see on the right side here that they are all together and there's no way to ungroup it or detach it. So unfortunately, whoop, this one will. So unfortunately with some of these, like this one, you can't untatch these. It will be the same color. So we're just gonna go ahead up here to the color box and I'll show you it'll change the whole color, which is fine because some of them that I'm going to be making will be one full color. Other ones will be different colors, but again, I'm going to be using uh, the HTV holographic, which I absolutely love. So the last thing pretty much on here is if you are able to um, ungroup it and you wanna change the color, you can go ahead and do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you something really quick. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm actually gonna duplicate it so I have two of them. And I'll show you why in a second. So if you select it and you go down to contour, you can actually get rid of some of the pieces on here. So I want the heart to be, you know, a different color. And I'd actually like teach to be a different color. So I'm actually going to do this a few different ways. I'm going to get rid of teach and I'm going to get rid of the heart. And I see that this is lighter now, but I have to go in and click these two. Otherwise that will still be there. And it looks like the H went away for some reason. There it went. So when you click out of it, you see, whoops, did not get rid of the heart. You see the teach went away, but I still want to get rid of the heart. So I'm going to go back in contour and I'm going to click on the heart. So that should get rid of, rid of that. So now I can change the color to anything I want on here. So let's say I wanted a blue color. So now I have the original yet because when you get rid of it, you want to have the, uh, an original with so you can, you know, take the other part that you want. So I still want to get the heart and the teach. So again, I'm going to duplicate it. Go down to the contour button and now i want to get rid of with love so you can go in and click each one of these and make it the lighter color shade on here so there we go now i got rid of with love so i'll still have the teacher and the heart so there you go so again i know this is time consuming we have one more that we have to do but i'm going to get rid of that one and just work with this one and duplicate it because i just want the heart this time so now i'm going to go back into the contour button and I'm just going to get rid of the heart on this one. So here we go. And then again, one more. Now I got to get rid of the teach. So we're just going to go in here and get rid of the teach. If you guys know of an easier way, please let me know. But this is how I do it. If it's connected to each other, that's how I always do it. Just use the contour button. So now I have all of these and they're going to be different colors this time. You didn't have to do this if you wanted all the same color. But I'm going to show you quick. So let's make this a purple color, let's say. And then the heart, I want like a pink or a red. So we're going to do this. So now you can do them individually. So it will cut this piece out all as you see it. And then this as all as you see it. So the only other thing I want to do actually is... Um, change the size. So if I go back to this and I can see here, it tells me my bags are 8.3 by 4.7. So obviously you don't want it, you know, as big as the whole thing. So you want to do it a little bit smaller. So I might do it, you know, a six by three and kind of see how it looks. So we're going to close this, grab both of these pieces, all these three pieces, and then change it. So, so I'm going to change it six by three and we're going to see how that looks. Whoops. I forgot to unlock it up here. So I unlocked it and I'm going to change it to be a six by three and we'll see what that looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. So there it is. So it's going to be just like this, I'll move that guy back. but it's going to cut out just like this. So I like it the way it is. Um, I'm actually going to change the color one more time. Um, just so I don't have to go back later. But again, I know this is going to be HTV. So I've got to figure out what color would look kind of good on the canvas of those. So I'm going to change this one maybe to, and it doesn't have to be the same. You know what? I'm going to leave it because it doesn't have to be the same. I, I just know that these colors are going to be HTV. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller. And I'm going to move it over here because this one is completely done. I don't have to do anything with this one anymore. And for whatever reason, it came back. Okay. We're having problems with my computer today. All right. So we'll just leave that one. I'm not sure where it went, but I can still see it here. Here it is. So for whatever reason, my computer is going wacko today. So we're going to leave that guy way over there. So another one, I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to leave this one exactly the way it is and just change the color. So I'm going to go up here and change it to be a six by three. Whoops, that did not work out. Guys, my computer is going wacko on me today. Six by three. 
Oof, it's gonna be one of those days. So I like the way this one is. I'm actually just gonna change the color to, let's say, purple. It doesn't have to be purple, but when I know it cuts out, I know I'm going to be using a different color. So I'm gonna move this one over. Okay, it didn't move any farther. Um, I'm gonna show you just maybe one more. I like this one. I did this one for one of the bags I was talking about and it turned out amazing. So go back and check out that. Unfortunately with this one, it's the same thing where you'd have to go in and do the contour button or you can just leave it all as it is. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, but just change the size really quick. So we're gonna do this six by three and do whatever your size of your bag is. You may not choose to use the bags that I use, but I like those. And it's smaller because my screen is shrunk to 50%. So I'm gonna actually change the color to this to, let's see, a yellow. And again, it doesn't have to be yellow. I just am gonna know when I cut it out that I'm going to choose a different color. So I'm gonna move that guy away. And you know what, one more I'm just gonna do really quick. So this one. So it looks like, although it's one whole piece, it's going to cut out separate. Oh, no, I thought this part was black, my fault. So this is gonna cut out as you see it as well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just unlock it and then change it to be a six by three. So there it is. So for the purpose of my video, I'm actually going to delete all of these because I'm not gonna use these for now. So I'm gonna select them and X out. So now I know that I'm just going to be using these four. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go to the make it button and then it's gonna show me on the side here what each of them are going to look like. So like I said before, I, you don't have to use a specific color that's here. Like I don't like yellow very much, but I know I'm going to be using HTV. So when you do use HTV, there is something very important you need to do. Please make sure that you always mirror your image. So you go to each one of these and you just click on your mirror image and that is gonna flip your image that when you put your HTV on your mat, you're gonna wanna do it color side down. Um, the, I like the brand that I have now um, because it has black on one side and then the pretty color on the other side. So you know that you flip the color on the bottom of the mat so that it will go flat on the mat that way. So when I put this on the mat, I'm just gonna choose different colors. Um, obviously I'm going to um, leave some of them the way that they are like maybe this purple I'll leave but I'm gonna show you the next step so since I did that and you have all of them mirrored you're gonna push continue and use your settings that are gonna pop up here so each setting is different if you're using a regular uh, vinyl you want to choose that if you're using HTV like we are today I'm gonna show you which one I use if you follow my channel you know I hate the Cricut brand I don't like how it cuts I don't like how it goes on I don't like anything about it. So that's why when I find a store or a brand that I really like, I like telling you guys about it. So for mine, I'm going to use this premium holographic vinyl uh, setting on here and it cuts it out perfectly. Like I said, this vinyl cuts and it weeds like butter. Oh my gosh. I will show you guys. Another thing I got yelled at is I'm not showing people how to weed things out. I figured everybody kind of knew how to do it. So if you know how to weed your stuff, please feel free to skip to the next part. I'm going to put this on the mat and show you the next part of it and then show you uh, the weeding process. So if you are used to it, you know what you're doing, please feel free to skip ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and select this premium vinyl holographic and this is my base materials this is my materials that I use most often so I save this so you might have to look for it if you don't have it there so I'm going to make sure I have my fine point blade in you want to make sure that you have your HTV color side down and I just realized that when I was doing this yesterday I didn't catch it but I'm using the premium holographic vinyl it's not HTV but you know what it cut out perfectly for me so you want to always make sure you're looking for that so actually when you use HTV I would recommend using this heat transfer non cricket but because I know it cut well with this one and I'm using holographic I'm actually going to click on this one so please make sure you have a fine plate blade in and then use a green sticky sticky mat. It really helps when you have a clean mat. So I'm going to go ahead and set my stuff up and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I promised I would show the next part here of the weeding. So here is my mat. You want to make sure you work with a really, really sticky mat. So my mat is clean. I just washed it. And here is the HTV uh, Here's the HTV holographic that I'm using. This is like a greenish color, but I really like this because it's black on the back. So you always know that this color goes down, face down. So I'm gonna show you really quick. Some of you might know how to do this already, but I'm just showing the ones that are new, new to my channel, new to Cricut. So you just wanna lay it down 
and then rub it and make sure that there's no bubbles. Then I used to use a credit card or a Cricut scraper, but I upgraded to this. It's just a roller and it's amazing. So you just want to roll it and you want to get all the air bubbles out. And then you want to make sure it's nice and straight and nice and tight on here. So now it's nice and sticky. So we're just going to take this and put it in the Cricut. And then I will show you the next step of taking this off and weeding it. Okay, so here it is finished. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Instead of pulling it off this way and getting the vinyl all twisted and rolled up, I flip it over and I peel my vinyl off this way. So this way, the mat is twisting and curling and the vinyl is not. So just like that. Then, what I like to do, instead of cutting out the actual image itself, I like to leave it on the piece that I'm working with and then take my scissors and trim it that way. And I don't know if you can really see this, but I'm going as close as I can so I can save some of the HTV. So instead of just laying it on there and cutting out, you know, a six by three or whatever the size was, now I can make it a little bit smaller. So here it is here. And then another thing I'm gonna show you guys is if you follow my channel, you know I hate anything Cricut related except for the maker. So I buy these weeders from Harbor Freight and I think I get like six of them for three bucks. And they do tend to get a little dull and sometimes the tip does curl over, but you know, three bucks for six of them rather than what is it for one actual Cricut um, weeder? Isn't it like 10 bucks or something? So um, I would definitely highly recommend getting these. I think you can even have them shipped to your house, but if you have a Harbor Freight around you, I would just go and pick up a whole bunch of them. The next thing I'm gonna do is just show you really quickly how easy this is to weed. So again, the color side and here's the black side. So you wanna pull from the black side. So I'm just taking the edge here and pulling it up. I'm gonna show you guys, this seriously is so easy to weed. Okay, like I said before, HCV is very easy to weed, but this is like a no-brainer, so easy to use. So I'm just pulling it as I'm going. I don't even have to use the weeder anymore, you just pull. It'd be easier if I had it laying down when I'm kind of trying to show you guys what it looks like, so just like that. So there is the first part. Now I need to go in with my weeder and go through these. So I'm gonna adjust my camera, get a little bit closer for you guys, and then I'm gonna show you. So here's the first part. <clears throat> then you just wanna go in and then find the pieces that need to come out. But this is so easy for weeding. Like I said, as easy as this. This is this goes for, um, you know, regular vinyl as well. The weeding process. I had a comment a couple days ago saying, "You guys, you showed the whole video, but you didn't show weeding." Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that people wanted to see this, so I apologize for that. And um, my videos might be a little bit longer than most people's, but I like to show everything step by step. So. Um, I hope you guys stick along, along to this video. I hope you really like it and that you're learning something. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like this video. And I love hearing comments below. So please leave some comments below as I love hearing and reading those. It makes my day. So here this is. Oops, I forgot in the R there. But wasn't that easy? That was so simple. To weed that so I really love this HTV vinyl so this is going to be going on it I did make this one already so I'll show you this one this one is teaching awesome humans I thought that was kind of cute too but I'm gonna finish up the rest of them on my Cricut I'll weed the rest of them off and then I will uh, get set up by my heat press for the next step okay so now I'm at my heat press and I have all of my little SVG files done and here are the bags I'm going to be using here's the black one and here is just the regular canvas one um, this one says teach and inspire I love how these look and turned out so if you're going to be using bags like these or any kind of bags there's a couple things I would suggest doing before you go ahead and do this so I always put something in between here whether it be cardboard or some parchment paper but I just cut it out put it on the inside of here just because if you do this you're 
HTV might infuse and go through the middle of this. So I always have some protective thing on the middle. So that was one tip. So another tip is, is I'm going to take my file, put it on where I want it to go, making sure I get it centered. You can go ahead and take like a ruler or something and put it on here, but I just kind of eyeball it to see where I think it should go. But normally you would just go ahead and press this the way it is, right? Wrong. So these, you cannot do that. So you have to put them on the side here so you're not touching the zipper here. So you want to make sure you have it lined up the way you want it. And then you put it on the edge so that you're not getting your zipper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And I have a black one here. And I already put the parchment paper inside of it. So I'm just going to line this up the way I want it to look. And then you can fill your whole heat press up and kind of go along that way. Um, I'm just going to start with these two for now and show you what it looks like. So I have it on the edge here. I have my heat press set at eight, uh, 380 degrees for 20 seconds. Um, you always want to make sure and figure out what um, heat press setting you need this at. So I'm using cotton bags and you always want to make sure what the heat press setting should be at if you're using a heat press. I started with an iron. I upgraded to an easy uh, Cricut Easy Press. I uh, Cricut Easy Press. Yeah, I hate Hated that again. I just I loathe Cricut except for the Cricut maker. I swear, guys, is just me, or or what? I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' opinion. Do you guys have a heat press? Do you have an iron? Do you have a Cricut Easy Press? I would love to know what you guys are using. If you guys need to see a different kind of video using an iron, I can do that. But I highly, highly, highly recommend and love my heat press. So going from there, I have it on the edges here so that I'm not going to be touching the zippers on here. You want to take your Teflon paper and lay it over here flat. That is going to save your files that you have so they don't burn. So I'm just going to press this for the 20 seconds. And the reason I love this too is I'm not sitting here, I'm not pushing on it, I'm not watching the time countdown. It does it all for me. It's counting on the time. It has the temperature I need on it. And I don't have to do anything. I have six seconds left and then I'm finished. I'm not sitting here holding this down trying to get the correct pressure on it. That's also why I love the heat press. So now it's finished. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to pull this away. And you got to make sure because it's very hot. So you want to be careful. This is where all the heat comes is at the top here. So here's what it looks like. And I'm going to carefully peel back the little plastic part on here. Oh, it is very hot. Peel back that, and it is perfect. So here it is, Teachers Inspire. Sorry, Teach and Inspire. So I love that one. I'm going to show you this one really quick. This one says Chaos Coordinator. You can also fill these with, you know, pens or gum or, you know, anything you want. You, you can fill it with stuff or you can just leave it the way it is. I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. I'm going to hand these out to some teachers. I'm also going to be selling these at the local craft store that I'm in. So here is this one chaos coordinator. I love this. So I have the rest of these to go. Again, you want to just take, make sure you take your parchment paper and put something on the inside of here that it will not stick through or burn. I've done that too many times where I forgot to put something in here and it infused it where it just went to the inside and I couldn't even open it because it was all stuck together. So as long as you have something on the inside where it's going to catch it, you're going to be okay. So I'm going to do this one. And I'm just going to finish these up. So again, just line it up where you want it. You can take a ruler if you want, or you can just, you know, kind of eyeball it and see where it should go. It's handmade. So I say anything handmade is never perfect, right? That's what makes it handmade. So I'm going to finish these up and I'm going to show you what they all look like when they're finished. But I'm really excited about this. And I did do a video on... Um, canvas bags for teachers as well. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check that video out as well. I'm having a lot of fun making these projects for teachers. I think they would be really cute to hand out to any teachers uh, this coming school year. So I'm going to finish these up that I have left and then I'll show you what they look like. I had so much fun creating these personalized teacher canvas pencil bags. They were so simple to create and I know they will bring a smile to any teacher who receives these. If you're interested in additional teacher DIY gifts, please check my channel for more ideas and step-by-step -step teacher gift videos. Happy crafting, everyone!